Hello Salem, I'm your Mayor Chuck Bennett here with your November monthly news and information from the City of Salem. Let's start with news for downtown businesses and restaurant owners. While COVID-19 restrictions continue to limit building occupancies, the city is making it easier for small business owners to serve customers in covered outdoor spaces. Find more about those modifications and the related fee waivers uh, by using the web link on your screen. And I'd also like to offer my congratulations to Councilor Brad Nanke and to the city's public works and finance departments for being recognized for their great work. First, congrats to Councilor Nanke for receiving the James C. Richards Award from the League of Oregon Cities. I also want to say job well done to the city's Pringle Creek demo and stream restoration project for receiving the 2020 Project of the Year Award by the Oregon Chapter of the American Public Works Association. The project was highlighted for restoration of riverfront habitat while expanding public open spaces for the community to enjoy and a virtual round of applause for the staff of the Finance Department who received the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the 23rd consecutive year. Today, I have the pleasure of being here at Center 50 Plus in Northeast Salem. Next, we're gonna chat with the manager of the center, uh, Marilyn Daly Blair. Well, Marilyn, thank you for joining me today. It'll be a real pleasure to talk with you about kind of what's going on during the pandemic. I mean, Center 50 Plus provides all of these different services for seniors. What are you doing uh, with this whole pandemic with COVID-19 to be able to continue to provide those kind of services to seniors? Well, you know, uh, Mayor, it was a, an incredible turn of services very quickly because yeah. we are all about bringing people together into groups and what do you do when that's your service delivery model and so we have had to quickly re kind of turn things around and start reaching out to the community in different ways and so virtually we're offering classes um, and we are doing a lot of online social media such as Facebook um, and our website delivering services to people's homes but of yeah. course food was the number one priority right. in the beginning can you tell me how healthy and active seniors are involved in your outreach and your services to, uh, to other seniors in the community that may need a little additional help? Well, we have a food and care box delivery program um, in partnership with United Way. And so we're taking groceries to people's homes. Wow. And we, for us to do 200 deliveries, we need about 40 volunteers. And uh, we have been able to call on our, our healthier seniors that have some time that are willing to serve their fellow seniors by delivering that. But they're also doing friendly phone calls to their friends. Uh, they're doing pen pal programs. And they're even delivering different programs and activities to people's front porch. So no se uh, seniors you're interacting with, none of them are just being left alone at home. I think that's been, as a senior citizen, uh, talking about uh, COVID, one of the real challenging things is that isolation that I think all of us are uncomfortable with, but could be particularly difficult for a senior uh, at home alone. Absolutely. Uh, you know, prior to COVID, uh, we were addressing senior isolation and loneliness. It is a national epidemic. It's actually yeah. a worldwide epidemic. Yeah. So that was already on our radar of something that we really needed to focus on. But then when COVID happened, it may, meant that we had twice as many people that were in need of that service. And so... Um, the way we're using senior, you know, the way we can look at seniors, either they are receiving a service or they are a senior delivering service, but <laughs> everyone good. is connected and engaged. That's great. What's been the greatest challenge? I have to say technology. Really? Um, you know, we, yeah. again, we're about bringing people together in face-to-face -to -face time. And technology is uh, something that can be new for some of our seniors. Right. And the whole world has turned to technology. Yep. That is the answer. And wow. um, so trying to educate everyone on how to do it best 
and tools that we can do. Um, it's hard to teach how to use Zoom over a Zoom <laughs> meeting. And it's so, hard to teach uh, Zoom talking to you. Right. I have to use <laughs> Zoom all the time. I tell you, it's very difficult at times. It can be very challenging. And so we still have to bring one-on-one -on -one type of uh, service to those folks to help them connect with their technology. And then what are the programs and services you're continuing to offer? Uh, just kind of let people know what's going on. I mean, we've got this beautiful van here behind us. What, what all are you up to? So we do have a program guide that is filled with health and wellness activities, both virtually as well as through the mail. Um, we have a, what we call a fit and fun pack, which comes out a couple of times a month with recipes and activities and things that people can do to just keep their brain connected. Our wow van is our our newest program, uh, we are finding that we need to deliver programs to people's homes because of mobility issues as well as technology barriers. And so this van uh, can be, you can call and ask for a WOW van visit and they will bring out arts and crafts, they'll bring out fitness programming. Really? They'll even um, be able to assess your front yard for if there's you need some shrubbery cut back, things like that. It's just about how can we help people remain in their homes safely. Um, we can't just say stay home. Right. We have to follow them with the services they may need, and that's really what the WOW van is about. Well, I really like that kind of motto, bringing Center 50 Plus to your home and neighborhoods. That's, that's pretty cool. I, I, re I think people must be very excited to have this available to them. This is brand new. We're thankful to our partnerships with Salem Health and uh, United Way and Home Instead and our P3 care partners because they really made this possible. We uh, were able to take this van, we're utilizing, uh, kind of repurposing our staff, uh, looking at different ways to reach out, but it's just a matter of a phone call. Uh, you don't have to go on the web and call up and make an appointment. You just give us a phone call and we will bring the WOW van out for a visit. You mentioned uh, some of the programs that are going on. There are some that are just vital to people's just basic survival. Uh, what, what kind of programs do you have in that area? I, it can be so difficult to get food, to get uh, other services, whether it's getting to the pharmacy, those kind of things. What all do you have to offer for seniors? Well, through our continued partnership with Marion Polk Food Share, um, the Meals on Wheels program has continued and actually flourished. I, I can't even tell you. I think the numbers are over 600 a day now Whoa. with prepared meals being delivered to folks' homes. Um, but right away, we knew people were going to have trouble getting their groceries. And so in partnership with United Way, uh, we were able to support our seniors remaining safely at home. And then, of course, you know, for those that prefer to choose their own groceries. There's some great programs in town. Uh, the uh, volunteer-driven base called uh, PDX Concierge, made up of high school students that will go get their groceries and deliver it for them. Um, and so there are some partnerships that we've had to establish to get those vital uh, things taken care of for people in their homes. The other you mentioned is medical appointments and those kind of things. Navigating the system on transportation can always be an issue, but as an information and resource organization, we are happy to help people connect. Thank you very much, and thank you for all of you for all the work you do and your volunteers. Uh, Center 50 Plus is a real gem in this community. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.